Well, we're going to start this small circular room by first uh, propping up the staircase. This is a staircase made of uh, four of the step pieces glued together. And what we've got is we've got a pillar. Uh, this, is, this is a short pillar. It's made from a pillar top with a cap on one end. Okay, So that's what we're going to use. And what we're going to do is we're going to prop it up. If you notice the side, it actually has every half inch kind of a jag out. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this under here and glue it in. I think it'll probably look the best if you center it under the stairs in the middle. Okay, for the small circular ring, what we're going to do is we're going to put what's down here in the center, but we're not going to glue this center tower or these tiles down to it. We want to be able to lift it out so we can paint the inside more easily. Now you'll notice these four bricks are going to be slightly wider than they should be to actually fit within the circle. But I'm just going to deal with it. This circle is going to be slightly more oblong or wider than it should be. Be sure that this can be uh, moved and, and lifted off of here. The rest of this tower on the outside is going to be glued down to, uh, glued down to the base. Now that we've glued this first row to the plans, I do want you to notice something. On your plans, you probably won't see anything except a big blank area here. This uh, edge of this tile should line up with this crack or gap right in here. Uh, and this gap right here will line up with the straight crack going straight back here. And this is kind of important because our window is going to be centered on that crack. Half of the window on one side and half a window on the other. Now as far as the next rows go on the central tower you're going to need the uh, three L's. They're going to, this one's going to be flush with the end here. This one's going to fit in the middle. And this one right here is going to be the uh, 3B. And it's just going to set right there. So it's going to glue in that position. For the outside, the 6XL, this large piece is going to directly center across this seam. So put that there first. Then we have a uh, 6M that's going to go over here. And then this one right here is a 6B that's going to go on that side. On the other side, we've got the 6XL that's going to go over here. And we've got some blank areas. What we're going to do is we're going to use some broken tiles. Now, as you're adjusting these as you put them down, what you want to occasionally do is to take this stair piece that you've glued together, set it in here, and make sure that there's a little bit of room in here that you can wiggle it around. Okay, for the next row in the central tower, we're going to use one of the uh, 3S pieces. And the edge of this is going to match right along that seam that's right there. Okay, and then we've got the uh, 3L piece, the large one that's going to go next. And then we have this one right here, which is, I believe, a 3H that's going to go. And it should go right about to the very end. For the row behind, what we're going to do is we're going to take this little 6-inch uh, wall tile and we're going to center it right across where the center seam is. Put the center seam of this right in line with the center of the central tower. Uh, once that's in place, on the right side we're going to put a 6XL and on the left side we're going to put one of these little 6Ms and then we've got a little C, a 6C piece. Go ahead and glue those in place for the next row. And then of course check that you've got a little bit of room for your stairs. Okay, for the next row, what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these three L's that go on the central tower. And we're going to use this short pillar. This is a pillar top with just a cap on it. Uh, so it's only uh, about an inch and a half tall. We're going to put it right here. Uh, and then on the back row that we've got back here, what we're going to do is on the uh, left side of the window, we're going to put this little, this is a 6C piece. And on the right side of it, we're going to uh, do one of these six L's and then we're going to take a G. But what we're going to do for this G is we're going to break this thing. 
I'd probably break it right about here. The very tip is the easiest part, so you want to break it uh, just a little further back if you can. So what you can do is you can just kind of snap it with your fingers, kind of like that, and that way we'll have it here. And then this part right here is going to go down here where this large area right here is just sort of to, to kind of fill that so we don't have this big empty spot right here. Okay, for our final row, what we're going to do is we're going to put a 3H right here. And uh, notice how I inserted the stairs in here to make sure that we have room. Uh, be sure that the stairs have a little bit of wiggle room. Also, you'll notice that we've got a couple of spots that look kind of bare. What I'm going to do is use a couple of these small square bricks. And I'm going to drop one in here, and I'll probably put one above here, kind of at an angle. Just something. And we also have little extra stones. Maybe I'll... Uh, put it down here or something like that. Some place I'll, I'll put it to where it looks good. Uh, the next row up here we're going to have this one right here which is a 6H and it's going to go right up here. And it will just kind of end in that spot, uh, in that spot right there. Uh, one other thing I think I'll do is I'll take one of these little faces right here. I think I'll put it on the column right about there. Oh, a couple of last things. This one that's up here, what we're going to do is we're going to break this tip off and put it down there. In fact, I'll do that right now. Let's break it. There we go. I'm going to break that tip off and it'll go at the very bottom down here. And then uh, this stairway, once we get done, we're going to remove this tower and I am going to go ahead and glue this stairway in place because I think we can paint it just fine with the stairway in there. Okay, the final bit to finish it is going to be one more of these uh, completed torches here. And so you notice that I've got the stairway glued in. I've got this where it will set and you can see that there's a good bit of distance where I can kind of move this around easily. I don't want to glue this in yet because trying to paint back behind here, it's really hard to get a brush in. So I'm going to leave this out and this out in separate pieces and these three main sections will be painted uh, to complete this ruin. As far as the main gate goes in the front, it's made of one half of full pillar and the other half is a buttress front that goes on here. You do the same thing and we've already pre-glued these from the earlier point in the video. And then across the top what we have is we have two buttress arches and on the ends we've got these decorative wedges glued on. So this is all going to glue into place and it will actually glue down onto the floor on this particular one. Now before we glue this down though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a guide to help us make our two back walls because it's kind of easier to set it on the plan here. Now we're not going to glue these back walls down, but let me explain the pieces to you real briefly uh, and then I'll go ahead and start gluing them together. So what we have is we have two of these small pieces. These are the 6S pieces and be sure that the wedge part is going the right direction because they look almost like a square block but they're really not. They're slightly wedged shaped. On the end we have a buttress that goes on one end. In the middle we have the six inch largest arch and on the other end we have sort of a pillar piece. To top that off we've got one of the six XLs that goes on top of that and then to finish the top part here on this side we have a 6H that goes on one side and we have a 6C that goes in the other and we're going to glue that together without gluing it down. On the other side is just basically a mirror image of the same thing. We have a full pillar piece here, we have a little 6S piece right here, we've got another little 6S piece, we've got a full 6 inch arch on this side, we've got the buttress end right here that goes on it, we've got this 6XL piece and on one side here we've got an I, a 6I, and the other one we've got a 6B. And these can kind of overlap over top of the uh, ends here. So you see if this one overlaps a little bit, that looks like it works pretty well. Okay, so the main entry gate is pretty much finished. Now these two pieces are the two side walls, and these two pieces are exactly identical. So I'm going to show you how to make one, and then you'll go ahead and make the uh, other exactly like it. Now for this, the uh, window cells in this, we're going to use these remaining uh, uh, six inch wall tiles. They're the floor tiles that would actually fit right on top of the wall sections. And you'll notice that these have kind of a groove that are exactly down the center. The easiest way to break these is probably put it on a tabletop and put it so the edge of the tabletop hangs off. And this is a dental stone, which is pretty hard stuff. If you're using something softer, this might be easier to break. But what I'm going to do is just hold it on the edge and then just snap it like that. Now it may not come out perfectly even. This one looks like it went under. This one looks like it sticks over. 
So if this side sticks over a little bit, I would just take a hobby knife and I would just kind of scrape that away. <clears throat> okay, for this wall section, uh, you'll notice there's a BT, which stands for the buttresses, which are these right here, the buttress ends. They're going to go on each side, but I'm going to wait to put them on near the end because they're going to cap everything off. What I'm going to do is start in the middle, and we're going to put down our two 6L pieces right here, and then on one side here, we're going to put the uh, 6S piece, and then we're going to use one of these little broken tiles that we had here that we just uh, broke. That's going to go in between. Then one of these 6M pieces is going to go on this side. In between these we're going to use a regular six inch uh, uh, wall tile and we're going to use another broken half because this is going to be only uh, like three sections long. We're going to put on the other side of it another 6M here. We're going to put it here and then the end is going to finish off with uh, another one of these small uh, wedge tiles right here. After those are glued into the place uh, the next row, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put a small arch right here, we're going to put a small arch on this side, and we're going to put a large arch here. And then, uh, to finish off the main section, we're going to put a, a 6L piece on one side, a 6L piece on the other, and then we are going to finish up by gluing these buttress ends on it. And that'll give us our first level here. Okay, to finish off the second level on this, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with one of the uh, six. Uh, six M pieces in the middle. You're going to put one of those on each side. <clears throat> and on the left side here, you're going to take uh, one of the F pieces. And you're going to notice it's going to be a bit long. See how it kind of overhangs there? Uh, we'll take care of that in a minute. On the other side, we're going to uh, use one of the I pieces right here. And we're going to have a little bit uh, extra left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this. I would break it right about here. And so I'm just going to take it and snap it and that'll go about like that and then what you can do if you want you can take it and kind of drop it off over here to kind of uh, even it up or you can spin it around whatever whatever you want to do if you want to use this uh, someplace on top of that what we're going to do is we're going to put two of the small arches that are going to go on top of that and then we're going to cap it off with the G and I'm going to leave it all the way over to the edge like that so it's kind of got a straight edge on that side and that will complete the piece